Angeles, officially the city of Angeles, Kapampangan, Lacanbalan Ning Angeles, Filipino, Lungsod Ng Angeles, or simply referred to as Angeles City, is a first-class highly urbanized city in the region of central Luzon, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 411,634 people, it is bordered by Mabalacat to the north, Mexico to the east, San Fernando to the southeast, Bacalar to the south, and Porac to the southwest and west. Though the city administers itself autonomously from Pampanga, it is the province's commercial and financial hub. Angeles is served by the Clark International Airport in Clark Freeport Zone. Being home of the former Clark Air Base, once the largest United States military facility outside the continental United States, it was significantly affected by the fallout from the eruption of Mount Pinatubo in 1991. The economy of Angeles was heavily dependent on the American base at that time. In 1993, a full cleanup and removal of volcanic ash deposits began and the former U.S. base was transformed into the Clark Special Economic Zone, CSEZ. The creation of CSEZ has helped to offset the loss of income and jobs previously generated by the presence of the U.S. base in the city. Today, Angeles and Clark form the hub for business, industry, aviation, and tourism in the Philippines as well as a leisure, fitness, entertainment and gaming center of central Luzon. Angeles ranked 15th in a survey by MoneySense magazine as one of the best places to live in the Philippines. In its March to April 2008 issue, Angeles is 83 kilometers 52 miles from Manila and 17 kilometers 11 miles from the provincial capital, San Fernando. Etymology The name Angeles is derived from the Spanish El Pueblo de Los Angeles, the town of the angels. In honor of its patron saints, Los Santos Angeles Custodios, Holy Guardian Angels, and the name of its founder, Don Ángel Pantaleón de Miranda. History Spanish period in 1796, the gobernadorcillo or town head of San Fernando, Don Ángel Pantaleón de Miranda, and his wife, Doña Rosalía de Jesús, along with some followers, staked out a new settlement, which they named Culiat because of the abundance of vines of that name in the area. The new settlers cleared the woodland and cultivated the area for rice and sugar farming. Don Ángel built his first house with light materials at the northwest corner of the intersection of Sapang Balan and the road going towards the town of Porac. It was later donated to the Catholic Church and became a cemetery called Campo Santong Matua. Today the site of Nepomuceno Coliseum, on 12 May 1812, the new settlers tried to make Culiat a self-governing town but the friars resisted the move, led by Fray José Pomita. Ten years later, on the 11th of February 1822, Don Ángel filed a petition for the township of Culiat to secede from San Fernando, but it was denied. This was followed by another petition within the same year, jointly signed by Don Ángel, his son-in-law, Mariano Henson, and the latter's father, Severino Henson. He donated 35 hectares for the construction of the first Catholic church, a convent and a primary school while Doña Agustina Henson de Nepomuceno, the niece of who would become the first gobernadorcillo of Angeles in 1830, Don Suriaco de Miranda, gave land for the new public market. Don Ángel paid the complete amount required by law just for the secession of Culiat from San Fernando. There were only 160 taxpayers then but the law required that it should have at least 500 taxpayers, located some 10 miles 16 kilometers north of Pampanga. S. Capital, Culiat became a barrio of San Fernando for 33 years and on 8 December 1829, became a separate municipality. The newly autonomous town was renamed El Pueblo de Los Angeles in honor of its patron saints, the Holy Angels, and the name of its founder, Don Ángel, coinciding with the rise of new barrios such as Santo Cristo, as the Poblacion or town proper, Cutcut, Pampang and Pulanganunas. The progressive barrios developed some new industries like a sugar mill and a wine distillery. The transition of Angeles from a jungle clearing to a barrio, to a town and finally to a city, took 168 years and in all that time, it survived locusts. 
infestations, wars, epidemics, volcanic eruptions and typhoons to become one of the fast-rising towns in the country. When it received its first official municipal charter, the town contained some 661 people, 151 houses and an area of 38.65 square kilometers. On the 17th of March 1899, General Emilio Aguinaldo transferred the seat of the first Philippine Republic to Angeles. It then became the site of celebrations for the first anniversary of Philippine independence, which was proclaimed a year earlier in Kawit, Cavite. Events included a parade, led by the youngest ever Filipino generals, Gregorio del Pilar and Manuel Tinio, with General Aguinaldo viewing the proceedings from the Pamanchuan residence, which was the presidential palace from May to July 1899, and later was the central bank of the Philippines' office in central Luzon, before its ownership passed to the National Historical Commission of the Philippines. Aguinaldo S. Sojourn was short, however, for in July of this same year he transferred his government to the province of Tarlac following Angeles occupation by the American forces. American period On 10 August 1899, U.S. forces began the attack on Angeles confident in capturing it in a few days. However, the Filipino army defending the town refused to give in so easily and fiercely fought back and for three months, they battled the Americans in and around the town. It was only after the battle on 5 November 1899 that the town finally fell into American hands. The Battle of Angeles was considered to be the longest in the history of the Filipino-American War in Pampanga. This led to the establishment of an American camp in Barrio Talamundoc, in what is now Lord Sur, located next to the railroad station, in order to establish control over the central plains of Luzon. In January 1900, General Frederick D. Grant organized the first U.S. civil government in Angeles by appointing an alcalde or municipal mayor, beginning American rule over Angeles. In 1902, the United States Army studied relocating their post from Barrio Talamundoc to a fertile plain in Barrio Sapang Bado, which supposedly had better grass for their horses. A year after that, U.S. President Theodore Roosevelt signed an executive order on 1 September, establishing 7,700 acres 31 square kilometers of land in Sepang Bado as Fort Stotzenberg, which later would expand to 156,204 acres 632.14 square kilometers in 1908 to become Clark Air Base. It was centered on what would in later years become Clark Air Base's parade ground. The Americans quickly commandeered Holy Rosary Parish Church and converted it into an army hospital, with the choir loft served as a dental clinic. The convento, which now houses Holy Family Academy, was the barracks for medical officers and enlisted men. The sacristy was the only portion where Angelenos could hear Mass. When the Americans finally vacated the church in 1904 and relocated to Fort Stotzenberg, parish priest Rev. Vicente Lapuz listed a total of $638 for portions of the church destroyed, looted church items and treasures, and arrears on rentals. World War II Hours after the attack on Pearl Harbor, Japan attacked the Philippines, targeting the American military presence, as well as the Philippine Army, and taking over the civilian government. During the Japanese occupation in the country, 57,000 Filipino and American prisoners of war passed the town of Angeles. They were forced to join the Bataan Death March, going to Camp O'Donnell in Capas, Tarlac. Angelenos showed their sympathy by handing them food, milk, boiled eggs, rice cakes, cigarettes, and water. Angelenos followed them up to the train station in Doe Railway Station in Mabalacat to give moral and spiritual support, and even help the escapees. War historians considered the bombing of Fort Stotzenberg on 8 December 1941 at 12.30 p.m. as one of the most destructive air raids in World War II, because almost all the American war planes were wrecked on the ground. In 30 minutes, the air might of America in the Far East was completely destroyed. On the early morning of New Year's Day 1942, the first Japanese troops entered Angeles, they would occupy it until January 1945. During the Japanese invasion, another type of local government was set up on the 22nd of January 1942. 
During the Japanese occupation, Clark Air Base then became a major center for staging Japanese air operations. Japanese aircraft flying out of Clark participated in the Battle of Leyte Gulf, considered to be the largest naval battle of the Second World War and possibly the largest naval battle in history. Clark Air Base was recaptured by the Americans in January 1945, after three months of fierce fighting in the Philippines. After three years of atrocities committed by Japanese forces, the town and the rest of the Philippines were finally liberated by the combined United States and Philippine Commonwealth troops in 1945. The building of the General Headquarters of the Philippine Commonwealth Army and Philippine Constabulary was situated in Angeles from January 1945 to June 1946, during and after World War II. Independence and cityhood After World War II, the Philippines gained independence from the United States on 4 July 1946, but then would be tied to a neo-colonial relationship. The Treaty of General Relations, signed on Independence Day itself signified the Americans' withdrawal and surrender of possession, control and sovereignty over the Philippines, except the use of their bases. It was followed by the Philippine-American Military Bases Agreement on 14 March 1947, allowing the U.S. to maintain territorial integrity and sovereignty over Clark Air Base and Subic Naval Base for the next 44 years. Clark occupied 63,103 hectares and served as the tactical operational U.S. Air Force installation in the entire Southeast Asian region that had the capacity to accommodate the U.S. military transport planes, which served the entire Western Pacific. Through the years, although Fort Stotzenberg continued to expand to become what is now known as Clark Air Base, Angeles, despite its proximity to the American camp, did not progress fast and remained fairly small until the end of World War II. It was finally inaugurated on 1 January 1964 as a chartered city under Republic Act No. 3700 and then it entered a period of tremendous growth that has resulted in its present position as the premier city in central Luzon. It was then Mayor Rafael del Rosario's brainchild that Angeles became a city. He gained the distinction of being the last municipal mayor of Angeles. He was assisted in the preparation of the city chapter by attorney Enrique Tayag, a prominent resident of the town. Congresswoman Juanita L. Nepomuceno of the 1st District of Pampanga sponsored the bill in Congress, which was approved by then-President Diosdado Macapagal, the ninth Philippine president and a native of the province of Pampanga. Mount Pinatubo eruption and Angeles today On 15 June 1991, Angeles was affected by the cataclysmic eruption of nearby Mount Pinatubo, with up to 60,000 people being evacuated from the city. It was the second largest volcanic eruption of the 20th century and, by far, the largest eruption to affect a densely populated area. The province of Pampanga, Clark specifically, were badly hit and the agricultural lands, as well as other businesses, were covered by tons of lahar. There were no casualties reported inside Clark two days from the initial eruption because the 18,000 personnel and their families were transported to Guam and the Subic Naval Base in Zambales. The eruption of Mount Pinatubo forced the leadership of the U.S. to prematurely abandon its military installation at Clark Air Base. This is in addition to the voting by the Philippine Senate in 1991 to no longer extend the Laurel Langley Agreement, which allowed the presence of U.S. military forces on Philippine territory, thus ending the long chapter of Filipino-American relations in the history of Angeles. The U.S. military never returned to Clark, turning over the damaged base to the Philippine government on 26 November 1991 in 1993, cleanup and removal of volcanic ash deposits began. The former base re-emerged as Clark Special Economic Zone CSEZ, approved by then-President Fidel V. Ramos on 3 April of the same year. The airfield infrastructure was improved and destined to be the premier airport in the country in the next five years and one of the most modern in Asia. The creation of CSEZ has helped to offset the loss of income and jobs previously generated by the presence of the U.S. base. Today, Angeles and Clark together form the hub for business, industry, aviation and tourism, as well as the entertainment and gaming center of central Luzon. According to the Center for Kapampangan Studies, the dish sisig originated in this city and has been on the menu since the 1730s. 
Pampanga is well known as the culinary center of the Philippines. In 2018, Angeles applied to be a UNESCO creative city, while it also applied SISIG into the UNESCO list of intangible cultural heritage. The applications are currently being processed by UNESCO. Climate Under the Köppen climate classification system, Angeles has a tropical savanna climate that borders on a tropical monsoon climate, Köppen climate classification A -M. Angeles experiences two distinct seasons, a dry season from December through April, with a wet season from May through November. From 1953 to 1991, the mean daily low was 73.6 degrees Fahrenheit and the mean daily high was 88.1 degrees Fahrenheit, with June being warmest and January and February being the coolest. The average annual rainfall is 78.39 inches. Typhoons tend to approach from the east during the summer and fall. Many damaging storms struck the city, including Typhoon Irma on 28 November 1974, generally considered to be the strongest one, Typhoon Rita on 27 October 1978, Typhoon Irma, the name was reused, on 24 November 1981, Typhoon Ruby on 25 October 1988, and Typhoon Yunya on 15 June 1991 which coincided with the Mount Pinatubo blast. In July 1972, central Luzon experienced a month of nearly continuous rain, resulting in 96 inches falling on the plain around Angeles. Barangays Angeles is divided into 33 barangays. Anunas Anunas is the barangay that houses the city's Korean town, a chain of Korean establishments along the Phil M. Friendship Highway. Anunas is also identified as one of the growth centers of the city, focusing on light industries such as woodcarving and rattan craft. Balibago and Malabanias Balibago is the main entertainment district of Angeles. It contains Casino Filipino Angeles and the famous Fields Avenue Tourist Belt. Entertainment-related establishments such as the Dollhouse Group, Kokomo's Hotel Group also spill to Malabanyas, which is situated next to Balibago. Hotels, such as Penthouse Hotel, Louis Grand Hotel, and Angeles Beach Club ABC Hotel are also abundant along Don Juso Avenue, which stretches from Balibago to Malabanyas. The city's biggest mall, SM City Clark, is also situated in Barangay Malabanas. Pampang and San Nicolas These two barangays form the main public market district of the city. The Pampang Wet Market, San Nicolas Market, Friday Flea Market, locally referred to as Apu, Jumbo Genra Angeles, Pure Gold Angeles, and the Angeles Slaughterhouse are found here. The Pampang Wet Market is the largest and most frequented wet market in the province of Pampanga. It also attracts people from nearby towns. Hospital Ning Angeles Ona, City College of Angeles, Angeles City National High School are located in Pampang. Puling Marigul Puling Marigul is the barangay that houses the city. S. Government Complex, which includes the Angeles City Hall, the Angeles City Hall of Justice, and other government buildings. It is also the location of the Angeles exit of the North Luzon Expressway and Marquis Mall, Ayala's first mall in central Luzon. Marquis Place and Marquis Residences later rose in Pooling Marigul as well, next to the mall. Santo Rosario Santo Rosario is the Poblacion. It is home to most of Angeles' heritage and historical structures such as the Holy Rosary Church, Pamanchuan Mansion which is privately owned by Maverick Pamanchuan, Bail Herencia, and Museo Ning Angeles former City Hall building. Holy Angel University, Central Luzon's largest university in terms of population, is also located here. Plans of declaring the barangay or parts of it a heritage zone are ongoing. Sapangdado 
Sepang Bato is the largest barangay in Angeles in terms of territory, with a total land area of 104,694 square meters and a population of 11,262. Located northwest of Angeles near Clark Freeport Zone, it is identified as the barangay in Angeles with the highest elevation of 750 feet above sea level. It is home to Fort Stotzenberg, also known as the Parade Grounds of Clark. APL. AP, member of the hip hop group The Black Eyed Peas, hails from Sapangbato. The famous punning hot springs of Brigi. Inararo in Porac are accessed through Sitio Target in Sapangbato. Demographics Culture the city also hosts a street party called the Tiktagan Tarakan Keng Dalan lit music and dancing on the streets every October which features musical performances from both amateur and better known OPM bands. In December, the festivities dedicated to the Kapongan dish, Sisig was used to be held every December. The Sisig festival locally known as the Sadsaran QNG Angelus was held annually. It was halted in 2008 following the death of Lucia Kunanan who is known for promoting the dish. Religion Majority of the population of Angeles is Catholic. At least two major festivals associated with the Catholic faith are held in October in the city. Commemorating the victory of the Spanish fleet over the Dutch Navy in 1646, the La Naval Fiesta is celebrated in honor of the Our Lady of La Naval de Manila with adherents believing that her intercession was instrumental to the Spaniards' naval victory. The Apu Fiesta involves devotees from all over Pampanga making a visit to the Apu Shrine to venerate the image of Jesus Christ lying in the sepulchre which is believed to be miraculous by believers. Expatriate community Owing to the presence of the nearby U.S. base and consequent Freeport Zone, many Americans chose to permanently settle in the area, particularly in the Balibago district, and thus Angeles became home to a large colony of expatriates. During the American colonial period 1898 to 1946, more than 800,000 Americans were born in the Philippines, and a large concentration of Filipino mestizos or Filipinos with American ancestry were located in this city. Economy Despite the major challenges that were faced by the city, such as the removal of the U.S. Clark Air Base and the Mount Pinatubo's eruption in 1991, all these have been surpassed by Angelenos. The improvement in the economy of Angeles was said to have been triggered by the transformation of the U.S. base into Clark Freeport Zone, where the Clark International Airport is located. Angeles is home to an emerging technology industry. Its economy is based also on tourism and gambling. Fields Avenue forms the hub of the nightlife industry focused in Angeles. With close proximity to an international airport in Clark Freeport, Angeles is visited by foreigners all year round. In the 2000s, the local government of Angeles rebranded the Fields Avenue Tourist Belt as a high-end destination with fine restaurants and luxury hotels and casinos. The finishing of roads, such as the Subic Clark Tarlac Expressway, has improved trade and transport. The project connects the industrial, transport and business hubs of Pampanga, Zambales, Bataan and Tarlac. The project is crucial to bolstering growth in central Luzon. The city has cottage industries producing rattan furniture, coconuts, and charcoal briquettes. It also has many thriving export businesses in handicrafts, metal crafts, toys, houseware and garments. Apart from the Clark Freeport Zone, industrial areas include the Angeles Livelihood Village and the Angeles City Industrial Estate, call centers present are E-Telecare, CyberCity, Sutherland and IRMC, plus other American IT industries are major employers as well. The establishment of a number of shopping malls also fueled the city's economy, including SM City Clark, Robinson. S. Place Angeles, Genra Grand Mall, Nepo Mall, Savers Mall and the Marquis Mall. Next to the City Hall, there is also a proposal of constructing a new Formula One quality circuit in a 2,000-hectare lot fronting the North Luzon Expressway between Angeles and Subic Bay, from which the country may soon play host to prestigious international car racing events and possibly bid to become one of the venues of the world-renowned Formula One series. Angeles City houses numerous restaurants that contribute to the growth of the economy. 
These are located near the malls and mostly in Nepo Quad which was newly renovated to cater the heightened needs of the population. In 2017 to 2018, with the fast-growing economy in Angeles City, it was suggested that Gustav has an estimated gross sales of 10,800,000, Biff's has 9 million, Sisson has 8,640,000, Downtown Cafe has 7,800,000, Dainty has 7,560,000, A la Creme has 7,200,000, Vinalot has 6,480,000, K Cafe has 4,320,000, New York Supreme has 2,880,000, Grill Side has 2,100,000, Limona has 1,700,000, 19 Kapung Kapung has 5,200,000 and Camelig has 3,900,000 on estimated gross sales. Tourism Historical sites Fort Stotzenberg Fort Stotzenberg, named after Colonel John M. Stotzenberg, a captain of the 6th U.S. Cavalry, was the location of the permanent quarters of the American forces in Sepang Bado, Angeles. It is also known as the Parade Ground, which served as a venue for many important celebrations by the Americans before the Philippine-American Military Bases Agreement ended in 1991. Salakot Arch Salakot Arch is a landmark of Angeles. From 1902 to 1979, Clark Air Base remained a U.S. territory, guaranteed by the Military Bases Agreement in 1947. In 1978, the Philippines, under the dispensation of then-President Ferdinand Marcos, and the U.S. finally agreed to establish Philippine sovereignty over the U.S. bases and thus the Clark Air Base Command of the Armed Forces of the Philippines came into being, following the signing of a revised military bases agreement on 7 January 1979. To commemorate this unprecedented and bold event, the government constructed a special structure based upon the design of a salakot or native hat, which soon became a widely recognized symbol of this renewed Filipino spirit. Old Pemanchuan residents Old Pemanchuan residents served as the seat of government of the First Philippine Republic under General Emilio Aguinaldo from May to July 1899 and the central headquarters for Major General Arthur MacArthur Jr., the father of General Douglas MacArthur. It used to serve as Municipal Hall of Angeles and later the Central Bank of the Philippines in central Luzon. Currently, the National Historical Commission and the city government with the help of the Embassy of France in the Philippines are funding the restoration of the mansion into the Museum of Philippine Social History. Founders Residence, Bale Matua Located at the heart of Santo Rosario, it is the oldest building in the city. It was built in 1824 by the city founder, Don Ángel Pantaleon de Miranda, and his wife, Doña Rosalía de Jesus, and was inherited by their only daughter, Doña Juana de Miranda de Henson. This house, which is made of high stone and an ornate gate, nostalgically symbolizes the glorious past of Angeles amidst the overwhelming onslaughts of modernization. Camelig Camelig was built in 1840 by Don Suriaco de Miranda, the first gobernadorcillo of Angeles, and was used as a grain storehouse along Santo Rosario Street. It was restored in 1980 by Armando L. Nepomuceno and is now the site of Armando's Pizza and the historic Camelig Restaurant, Post Office Building, Deposito. It is a building that was constructed in 1899 for the purpose of depositing religious statues and carriages of the Catholic Church, hence the name Deposito. It was also used as the headquarters of the 11th Film Exchange U.S. Army from 1946 to 1947 and was then used as a jailhouse for recalcitrant U.S. troops during the Philippine-American War. On 6 February 1967, the Angeles Post Office moved to this building. It is now the site of Angeles Physical Therapy Rehabilitation Center. Holy Rosary Church, Santo Rosario Church, Holy Rosary Church, Santo Rosario Church was constructed from 1877 to 1896 by the Polo y Servicio labor system, a kind of forced labor imposed on Filipino peasants by the Spanish colonial government. It was used as a military hospital by the U.S. Army from August 1899 to December 1900. Its backyard was the execution ground to the Spanish forces in shooting down Filipino rebels and suspects. Holy Family Academy Building 
Holy Family Academy building was once a convent and was served as a military hospital of the U.S. Army in 1900. It was later used as troop barracks, offices quarters and arsenal by the Japanese Imperial Military Forces in the year of 1942. Bale Herencia Ancestral House Built in 1860, is situated in La Candula Street corner Santo Rosario Street. It is a picturesque house with the unsavory reputation of having been built for the mistress of a parish priest. The current owners have leased the place to various restaurants, food stalls, and other businesses like salons and computer shops. The antique architecture, however, is still preserved. Juan D. Nepomuceno Center for Kapampangan Studies houses a library, museum of archives and gallery, research center and theater, put up by the Holy Angel University in 2002 to preserve, study and promote Kapampangan history and culture. In 2012, the Museum of Kapampangan Arts was also opened in the university, housing some of national artist Vicente Manansala's works and drafts. Lily Hill Lily Hill was a strategic observation post for monitoring Japanese movement in World War II. Remains of Japanese aircraft were found here at the end of the war. Along this hill can now be found Lily Hill Duty Free Store, Bayanihan Park. Bayanihan Park, formerly Astro Park, is an ideal spot for sports and recreational activities having basketball and volleyball courts and huge space for jogging and other recreational activities. This is where the famous and historical Salakot Arch is now located. It is being managed by SM City Clark. Museo Ning Angeles, Museum of Angeles. Museo Ning Angeles, Museum of Angeles is a vintage building located at the Prime Santo Rosario Historic District across the Holy Rosary Church. This edifice was constructed in 1922 and served as the Municipio del Pueblo or Town Hall until 1998. The museum has become the venue of the city's cultural activities be it from the or government sector. From the time it opened in the year 1999, it has been a beehive of activity from exhibits, art classes, concerts, venue for performances and climax for traditional celebrations. In June 2012, the National Museum of the Philippines declared the Museo Ning Angeles as an important cultural property of the Philippines. The first cultural property to be given such a distinction. The museum is currently administered by Kuliat Foundation, Inc. Inside the museum is Balakdan, meaning, to look back, which is about understanding Angeles's past for the present. It encapsulates coherently our colorful and evolving history, and enabling us to arrive at our expected destination. The sections begin with the establishment of Kuliat in 1796 and finish with Mount Pinatubo. S. Fury in 1991. Also within the infrastructure is the culinarium. Pampanga, most specifically Angeles, is known as the culinary capital of the Philippines. This is dedicated to the Kapampangan culinary arts and science that has emanated from the basic concept that the preparation of food is a heritage and a legacy worth preserving. Dioramic scenes of traditional life in Pampanga, which is depicted in ten tableaus, are scenes of traditional town and country life in Pampanga. These dioramas were created by fashion designer Beatrice Patiz Pamanchuan Tessero using her Nanita dolls dressed in the most intricately embroidered Filipiniana outfits, with amazing detailing not only on the clothes, but also in the accessories and background. Reynaldo G. Alejandro Culinary Library the Reynaldo G. Alejandro Culinary Library is dedicated to the memory of Mr. Reynaldo, Ronnie Gamboa Alejandro, 1941-2009, who was a leading exponent of Filipino arts and culture. Some years before his untimely demise, Ronnie donated a part of his extensive library to the Kuliat Foundation in support of its efforts to promote and preserve the Kapampangan culinary heritage. Sex Tourism a consequence of the U.S. base's presence in the country is the prostitution industry in the city. Since the early days of Clark Air Base, Fields Avenue in Balibago District is an area frequently visited by the U.S. servicemen, has been known as a center for prostitution and sex tourism. A BBC article characterized it as 
the center of the Philippine sex industry, and dubbed it, Sin City. Elsewhere and in later years, Philippine travel publications have described it as the entertainment capital of central Luzon and entertainment city. Schools Tertiary and higher education Rafael L. Lazatan Memorial High School, RLLMHS Maine Angeles City National Trade School Notable people Sister cities Angeles has the following sister cities Las Vegas, Nevada, United States Seo District, Daegu, South Korea Davao City, Philippines Cabanatuan City, Philippines San Fernando, Pampanga, Philippines Valenzuela, Philippines References External links Official Angeles City website Up-to-date guide on Angeles City attractions Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information Local Governance Performance Management System Interactive Street Map of Angeles City Area